Stock Marshall JCM 800 amp, a classic to be sure, but with the preamp gain on 10 for some distortion, and even with the master on 5, they always sound a little woolly to me, lacking tightness, and yet somehow still a little anemic. <laughs> And then you back down the preamp gain to bring the bright cap into play, so you get a little tightness, but it's at the expense of gain. So what's the answer? How do you get enough balls and sustain and grind in your tone while keeping it tight and defined? So this is the custom Mr. Scary tweaked for Mr. George Lynch version of the Hot Mod V2 uh, tube module. I think it was originally created to go in Marshall 2203 and 2204s, otherwise known as the Master Volume Marshalls, the original ones that came out in the 70s and carried through till about 81, and then became the JCM 800 amps with the, the two inputs and the control layout of a presence bass middle treble master and preamp gain or volume control. Those amps are great. They're awesome. They're, you know, legendary, uh, but they're sort of plagued by this slightly anemic gain thing. Um, they, they can sound amazing, you know, when you get the master up really loud, but, you know, to get the kind of level of gain that most people want out of them, you're always cranking the preamp gain up real high. And when you do that, they can get a little flubby and a little futzy and still seem a little anemic. A great tone, but like almost there, but not quite. And that's what this is made to address. So I'm going to demonstrate how it gets you there and why it's not just about more gain. It's about like gain and articulation. It's about getting a little bit more gain, a little more sustain and stuff like that but also without sacrificing tightness and articulation and feel of the strings under the fingers. And also like the ability to roll down the volume control on the guitar a little bit and uh, get a dynamic sound and, and clean up and still feel really good and be nice and clear and articulate. For a full list of amps that this works in, you can look at the Legendary Tone site uh, and check it out. I'll put that uh, link down in the video description below. I'm testing it today in a run-of-the-mill stock 100-watt Marshall JCM 800 head from the early 80s. All right, so first off, let's just listen to the first few bars of that song one more time, but with the guitar soloed, so you can clearly hear the stock sound of the JCM 800 amp with the preamp gain all the way up on 10, and then the sound with this module added in V2 tube position, and I've backed the gain on the amplifier down to like 7. The bright cap comes into play, you get a little more articulation and tightness out of the amp, but you get all the gain out of the module. Okay, let's check it out. <laughs> So here I am installing the Mr. Scary module. It just goes in the second preamp slot, the cathode follower position. Super easy to pop it in there, just takes a couple minutes. 
So the thing with Marshall 2203 or 2204s, they're a little anemic in the front end. They don't have a ton of gain. So what you tend to do is turn the preamp all the way up a lot of times, right, on 10 to get some level of rock gain or rock tone out of it. But when you do that, you completely mix the bright cap out of the circuit that's on that volume pot. It's got a bright cap on it. Well, I've talked about this a lot before in my videos. I don't want to bore anybody out there. But what the bright cap does is it basically lets a bunch of signal above a certain frequency through the pot, whether it's on one or two or three, all that top end is still getting through. And then as you're turning up that pot, you're mixing in the rest of the frequencies that come below the bright caps value. Okay, so you're basically mixing in all the lows and all the mid mids and everything. And that's great up to a point, but at some point they tend to sort of overtake and then the amp can get a little flubby because you're increasing gain as you're doing that. So the bright cap is cool, right? Bright caps are cool. They make Marshalls sound like Marshalls. The reason why some people don't like bright caps is that the amp can sound thin at lower volumes for the obvious reason that all that high end is getting through and none of the lower stuff. So they do make Marshalls a little bit of a one trick pony. When you get the, the volume up to a certain point, it's like, oh my God, it sounds amazing right there on six, seven, eight. And then all of a sudden you're getting to the gain that you want, but it can be flubby. But what about if you could get the amount of gain you want and then also get the cool thing that the bright cap does when the volume's just on like seven. And that's what this circuit gives you. It gives you the ability to back down the preamp gain a little bit because you're getting the extra gain out of the, the mod. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's start with the preamp gain on 10. Not very tight, a little bit flubby. Now I'm gonna back it down. gets cool like right about there right sounds really great right there and I don't have the gain control on the module up that high right now I think it's a little bit past noon so I could turn it up even more and get more gain let's try that okay now it's just past three quarters of the way up and I've got the deep switch on right now <laughs> So let's turn off the deep switch and hear what that sounds like without it. Be a little thinner, but also a little bit tighter now. That's a great sound, and it's not even messing around with the tone controls or anything that much yet. I basically have the tone controls exactly where I started for that part of the beginning of the video. So, you know, your mileage may vary, you can mess around. Right now the presence is on about six, bass is on about four, I got the mids up around seven, and the treble on about six. Let's play with it a little bit. <laughs> that sound personally that's probably where I would use it with the gain on the module cranked up about three quarters of the way up with the deep off and with the tone control set something like this and lots of that bright cap mixed in on the preamp gain so that it doesn't get flubby <laughs> Now something I specifically did on the rhythm guitar parts um, that kind of go under the song is I rolled the volume down. George mentioned to me that he really likes the stringy sound, I think he described it as, uh, like kind of the cleanup. When you roll down, you get the articulation. <laughs> It's 
got a, a cool thing. I wouldn't exactly call it cleanup because it's still dirty, but it does clean up a little bit and it just gets stringy and tighter. <laughs> Thanks for watching my video on the Mr. Scary module meant for V2 of quite a wide range of Marshall amplifiers as well as other amplifiers. Add some gain, sustain, some articulation. Just a real easy way to get a modded sound out of your stock amp uh, without having to actually you know, pull the chassis and get in there with a soldering iron and maybe mess things up. You can check out the Mr. Scary module at the link down there in the video description below. Click down there, it'll take you to more info about this thing. Thanks for watching you guys, I am Pito, take care, over and out.